But I want to show you something important, which is called a whip hole. This particular solar pump pump already has a whip hole. Uh, this is a one eighth of an inch whip hole. But uh, as you can tell, the the pump already has some a little bit of corrosion in there. So we don't want that whip hole to be a seal. In the event of that whip hole to be sealed, these pumps are not self self prime. What it means that when, when it's not self prime, it means that if, if you have air in the system, this pump is not going to be able to pump water out. It's just going to be working and working, but it's not going to be uh, pumping water out. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drill a 3 16 of an inch uh, whip hole in our system between the pump and uh, the check valve. I'm gonna drill it about, I'll say about an inch away from, uh, from this connection. I'm, I'm gonna start straight, and then as soon as I'm in, I'm gonna keep it in, in 45 degree angle, okay? So this whip hole is important, like I said, because in the event of having a lot of water into the system, and this whip hole uh, is, is a seal, and we have air trapped in the system, this pump is gonna be working, but it's not gonna be pumping water out. So we need a whip hole, okay? So we're gonna drill it right now. So like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna use our finger as a gauge. We're gonna start drilling. And as soon as we're in, we're gonna go in a 45 degree angle, like that. Just like that, okay? We're gonna clean it, and as you can tell, the hole is not as straight. The reason why we do it like that is because we want the water to drip down and expel the water this way, not straight, not up. Okay, we want it to go down. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna install the pump and put it back and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna fit.